As monsoon 2022 wraps up, we're looking at how dramatic swings in our wet monsoon season have affected the drought situation over the past couple of years. It's hard to believe, but 2020 started out looking good with drought just limited to that far northeastern part of the state. And you can take a look at the map right there where we do have some of that severe drought. It was up on the plateau and we saw a little bit of that dryness showing up in eastern and southeastern Arizona. Now, as we went through the monsoon, which was really a non-soon, we can see just how that extreme and exceptional drought overtook so much of State 48. Sky Harbor reporting one inch one inch of rain when we should be upwards of two and a half inches. All right, so what made things worse? As we move over to 2021 and start things out there, we had a very dry winter. We'll take a look at that map right here. This is the non-monsoon, and I'm referring to those months outside of our normal monsoon season. 1.51 at Sky Harbor, and we should be closer to almost five inches of rain. The extreme and exceptional drought overtook so much of Arizona, but we had a great 2021 monsoon, 4.2 Inches of rain at Sky Harbor. Things are looking up. We can see so much of that exceptional extreme drought disappearing. Still a lot of severe drought in the state. And then we go through the winter months yet again. And we just didn't have a really strong winter precipitation. As we take a look at that map, again, we made some improvements. We, should, we were closer to about two and a half inches of rain. We should be closer to five. We saw that exceptional extreme drought returning, especially in the very western and northern part of the state. A lot of severe drought still there. Now we went through this fantastic 2022 monsoon season. Yeah, we came up a little shy of normal at Sky Harbor, but you see how all those colors just disappeared. The bright reds, the exceptional extreme drought, gone. A little bit of severe drought still left, but so much of the area just moderate drought to abnormally dry. And this is how everything changed. We saw the worst drought levels nearly disappear when we talk about the severe drought, down almost a third. And what grew was that abnormally dry and moderate drought. That replaced the extreme drought and the exceptional drought. And then when you take a look at the entire state, other than the very northeast part of Arizona, that's where the radar data disappeared. But what you're looking at right here is the radar data. And you can see these pockets of cream colored, orange colored areas around Prescott, Flagstaff, Sholo, even down into the southeast corner of the state. You're talking upwards of a foot of rain and monsoon and the bright purple, a foot and a half. And the valley made out pretty good. We did see that, but this is how Sky Harbor ended things this year. Two tenths of an inch behind, not terrible, very much near average. And then when you take a look at the percentage in normal, yes, looking right towards the Phoenix area, the southeast uh, part of the valley, yeah, pretty close to average. But look at Western Arizona, especially Southwestern Arizona, 250, 300% of normal, and you can assume that much of the plateau saw the same with that bright red northeast of Flagstaff, north of Sholo right there. Fantastic turnout. That percentage of normal across Arizona is what made the big turnaround. Now, Mother Nature, she's providing some fantastic monsoons. The winter moisture, that's coming up as well. So we just have to hope that she keeps this trend going, and we'll have to see what 2023 holds for us. Back to you.